Hey, buddies, it's Vic Does. Time to have the Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Saturday, Mosh Pit. Hopefully, your weekends are going great. We did have another video across 3,000 likes, which now puts us at 190 over 210, only 20 away now. Thank you all very much for the support. We had a lot of people go back on the videos this week and go like them as well. I really do appreciate that. And everyone who's been contributing to the question of the episodes as well. Uh, speaking of contributing, we have our meme slash artwork of the day, another Halloween meme slash artwork brought to you this time around by Andrada Vicente. Vesilu, 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 I'm probably mispronouncing that. Uh, they said, Happy Halloween, and then in the uh, text part of the thread, they also said, My boyfriend is a fan of Sinvicta, and sometimes we watch his videos together. Recently, he asked if I could do, if I could draw some fan art. A bigger piece is in the making, but for the Halloween, I made this little doodle. Happy Halloween to those who celebrate it. Thank you very much, Andrada, as well as your boyfriend, and anyone else who uh, who upvoted that thread. So again, if you have your own memes or art of the, of the day or the episodes and go over to the Sinvicta subreddit slash r slash Sinvicta. Oh man, we're starting with the with starting with the eraser up in here. Uh Victor Tango 8 Zulu uh Kilo Romeo Tango Bravo. We've got the eraser and the blanket and uh and Gemini uh, we'll see. We'll see. Our movement speed is absolute horrific uh numbers that I don't want to see right now. Now we could get rid of all flies, I guess. Yeah, fine. All right, that's fine. So we got rid of all, uh, let me, let me step back. So if you don't know what the eraser does for some odd reason, or if you haven't played repentance yet, the eraser will literally remove every single mob of the type that you hit with the eraser, uh, from the game period. It's permanent, um, for that run, obviously not like permanent, permanent, but so what we did, and I wish I would have used it against dips instead of flies. Um, what we did in that, in that run there is you just saw that fly kind of just blink out of existence. I used it on the, a <coughs> sorry, the aggravated flies. Um, and so anytime we get the red flies, not the black flies, but the red ones that can actually deal damage to you, they will simply just cease to exist. Um, now, in the early game, that could be quite useful. Um, I don't feel like getting those. I don't feel like getting those two pennies. In the early game, it can be quite useful, um, especially if you erase something like the flies or spiders. Spiders should be your number one goal in terms of mobs to erase early on, in, in my opinion, anyway. Um, you don't have to listen to me, of course, but I do think that the, the just the regular attack spiders, uh, I mean, they're all attack spiders, but just the regular spiders, they pose the most risk to you early on in taking damage and also robbing you of your devil deal. Now, that being said, I think that there's also some merit to r erasing the attack flies like we just did, um, especially if you end up going up against, like, Duke or, uh, you know, just any anything annoying. But the thing about flies is that they, they are ubiquitous across all of the levels, right? Like, if you erase the dips, um, like I was talking about in this, not this room, but uh, this room here, if we had erased the dips, yeah, that does help us in the early game, but later on, there's not really any to really show up. So it's not really, in my opinion, all that necessary to erase the dips. Now, mini strohs, on the other hand, yeah, that would have been good. Um, but I still think, just because of how often you see spiders, you want to erase, you want to erase spiders, period, point blank. I think that should be your number one concern. Um, and then, you know, if you get lucky, you can maybe erase some mini strohs, or maybe even a very early Claudie, uh, or Q bones, or anything like that. The dips, again, <coughs> you can. You can't erase them, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't pick them as my first. Um, you see here we have the holy mantle, which was given to us by the blanket, uh, which we started with as our eternal item here on Eden. So that's just a. I mean, blanket is just good. Like it's just good. Like what does it do? It just protects you and helps you out with the devil deal. I mean, you know, even if it's only a holy mantle in one room, like you're gonna. You're, we we Gucci fam, Mathis would say. So Mathis. <laughs> Mathis, like, yeah, he, there's the spiders right there. Mathis, like, like, like a year or two ago, came over, and uh, <laughs> I said, I don't, I don't remember what we were playing. We, were, we, we may have been playing Four Souls, and uh, I said, I said that exact word. I was like, hey, we Gucci fam, right, Mathis? And he was like, dude, I literally never say that ever. I'm like, no, I've heard you say it once, and that's good enough for me. There we go. So we have a full charge on the eraser, and look at that. We get rid of all the flies in this room, um, which, again, is not... What are you kidding? We don't even get the chest! All right, anyway. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, we only get to, you only get one chance with the eraser. This is one change that I would like to see with this item if I could just change it one. I wouldn't say that you could... 
I mean, it would be cool to, to be able to just like recharge it over and over again, but it would, that would go against the design philosophy of repentance. That's the nicest way I can put that. Um, however, one thing I would change though, is that there is zero forgiveness when it comes to missing a target. You fire the eraser once, you miss, that's it. You don't get a second chance. There's no way to recover that charge, nothing. So make sure you're accurate with it. All you do is you hit the space bar or whatever you use to activate your active item and then fire in one direction. And remember, you only get one shot, and that's that. We got all the flies here, except for the pooters. Pooters are a pretty good uh, target as well. And yes, if, if you wonder, we've seen it before, but yes, you can indeed erase a boss um, and they, they will cease to exist as well. Um, it does work against like delirium. We found out that we found that out because delirium obviously shape shifts and it really screws him up. So, uh, I know I talked about dips, but we just got 2020 and 2020 is going to make them making deal that let's try that again. Ready? You, you ready brain? Okay. Let's try that again. Having 2020 makes dealing with them a much easier time. Still not the right way to say it. You know what? I'm just going to go with it. It makes them easier to kill. Because we have a wider range of, uh, uh, of basically, our, our shots. Now, we did not erase anything on this in this room yet. Or in this floor. So, we might end up using it against the boss, I guess. Let's see who we get. Okay, Steven is not going to spawn any ads, so... There are times, like, I guess we could technically go into the curse room and maybe find some spiders or demons or something. The eraser does cause damage. It causes 25 damage on impact to a boss. And if that's, if that is good enough to execute them with 25 damage, you will erase them from the game. Um, they will just simply just cease to exist. But it has to be exact. But I don't mind little Steven here just because little Steven's little Steven's all right. I might as well, right? I mean, we have nothing else to to spend it on, so I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take empty vessel, and uh, we're gonna basically turn one red heart into two soul hearts, essentially, and then we're gonna lose those by taking Lord of the Pit. However, Lord of the Pit gives us flying and a movement speed, which we absolutely one hundred thousand percent needed. Oh my goodness, and get the curved horn as well. Man, we haven't, honestly, in the last couple of episodes, we haven't seen any major trinkets show up that I can recall anyway. Um, but, I mean, getting curved horn is like, that's like a dream come true, especially with 2020, which lowers our damage uh, by a little bit. We haven't gone into the shop yet. I think I will go in there. So, for example, like, <coughs> let's hypothetically say that we get greed in this store, which we won't, but let's just hypothetically, let's pretend that we got greed in here, right? What would happen is if we used the eraser to kill greed, any other time that we would get greed from there on out, uh, greed would, would just disappear, just, just gone. Um, I don't know if the secret was to the left of there. This feels a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, here we go, boys and girls. So I'll set up the, uh, the question of the episode from last week, and then we'll go to the next floor. Uh, last week, I asked, it was the Star of Bethlehem, the All-Star episode. I simply said, what is your take on Star of Bethlehem? Is it an item that you like? Is it an item that you want? Is it an item that you, you know, do you think is overpowered? Do you think it's in, like, a good spot? Yeah, well, we got a golden bomb, so I might as well go bomb some stuff here. So the mo oh, most stuff out of common. Oh, my goodness, we got a crawl space. Hang on, though. Go game. I'm trying to, I'm trying to read the, the question of the episode. The Glitch Crown is going to give us that rotating... Item pedestal. I forgot how slow our movement speed was. I was actually going for Lazarus's rags, but yeah, I was way too far away for that one. So yeah, we'll get to the question of the episode in just a second. Well, the most upvoted comment came in from Just Darth twenty one twenty five. He said, "Star of Bethlehem is a big boost to DPS whenever you're within its aura, uh, so it's almost guaranteed to to take. Considering it just makes runs quicker and stronger. Considering that its its path always guides you the way to the boss room. So if you are attempting to hit boss rush or any other timed event, it just it just stops there. Yeah, we well, 
I don't know, man. Globins, Globins with this damage in 2020 aren't exactly super deadly. I still want to erase basic spiders, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull off the pull off the trigger of that. Now the flying, what can only lovingly be called flying anus monsters. They are very annoying, but again, we can deal with them. The corn the corn dips, on the other hand, are very very annoying. I still think that we we can pretty much knock them down with me and Steven, though. Got some work to do, buddy. Uh, but the second most upcoming comment came in from uh, Miss, I'm going to say Nibiru or Nibiru. Uh, they said, uh, even if I agree that Star Bethlehem is very helpful to know the way and take, and the aura is a great booster to DPS, I rarely wait for it and I rarely stay in the aura. It's too slow and it, gives, and it drives me nuts. Uh, I can still explore a couple of rooms before the star leaves the big room, leaves a big room. Um, ooh, I'll take this real quick. I also do not like how it stays in the middle of the room for some bosses. That's not ideal. I do like how it goes into hush with you and, sh and shows you the way straight to delirium. So you can just enter. You can just either get it over with and get some more items before fighting it. Um, it sounds like to me, and I, I, apology, I, I, I apologize for, oh man, are we going to really take C-section with 2020? I think we are. Oh, baby. So we get another C-section uh, run, and, you know, look, I'm not going to turn it down. Um, do we need... Probably need to stop shooting before we go into every room. Do we need C-section? I wouldn't say necessarily we need it, but it's nice to have for damage. Did you shoot at me? Yeah, I saw that. We could take the... I guess we could take the, the map... With a jar. Yeah, we need to get a little bit more movement speed. If you notice some inaccuracies on my glitch crown uh, play right now, again, that is that is pretty much all. Uh, pretty much all uh, movement speed. Yeah, we absolutely take down the needles there. So, uh, anyway, going back to Miss uh, Nibiru, or Miss Nibiru. I apologize for making assumptions in advance, but it sounds like to me you might be playing on an older version of Repentance because uh, that was something that was buffed recently. Now, again, apo apologies if I'm not, if I'm making too much of an assumption here, um, because what has been changed about the Star of Bethlehem is that it will actually move faster if you're not in the room with it and going in the right direction. So if you're going towards the right direction, it will, it will actually speed up. There's a speed up mechanic now. Um, but if you are updated, then yeah, then I... I do not I do not claim to say that your opinion is not valid. I think that it is a good it's a good critique of a very good item. Or on the other hand, um you could you're you might be updated but if you're going in the wrong direction and you're wondering why it's still in the same room as like the one that you left, even though you went and explored in other directions, um, you know it, it could. That's another part of the of the recent update where it will actually slow down and wait for you. So, uh, but either way, like you know, I think that Star of Bethlehem is really no downside in taking it, especially like if it's your only angel item to get. Um, but relying on it is not something you have to do. No, no, do not get hit by those when you have the eraser. You know what? Yeah. Okay, well, the bodies are not the most annoying thing there. That is... <laughs> I wanted I wanted some Torium, but we just got done having some Torium, so, yeah. Four and a half volt is gold here. Uh, two more cents, we can, get, we can get Humbling Bundle. Like I said the other day, you know, you know you've made it whenever people are commenting how much they despise you. And, uh... By you, I mean an Isaac item, um, because obviously there, like, there's a lot of pushback on some Torium videos lately. Um, you know, and like, <coughs> it should be an automatic pickup. Um, if you don't play, if you don't play Isaac for a living on YouTube, take it every single time. There's no reason not to. I think we get fire rate if we go for champion or go go for a consolation prize.
We, we can't take any of that. <sighs> you know, I just, I don't even know what to say. And last but not least, the third most upvoted comment. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, third most upvoted comment came in from a Destruction Dragon 360 who said, Star Bethlehem is a fantastic joy to use, but sometimes an, an explorer's nightmare. I love the buffs and hate the need to, to double back and search for the item item shop uh, and item room, etc. cetera, uh, especially when they're off of Star's Path. And yeah, again, I, I hear you on that. Um, I think that the... I think that what would be cool, and again, this is just me, I think what would be cool is if... Essentially, if you could see the Star of Bethlehem on the map, right? So you could see exactly which path to go. Maybe that might be a little bit too powerful. So maybe make it only like a treasure map uh, synergy. And I think that that would help combat some of the some of the downside for people. And yeah, we got it. We've got to get some movement speed here. Yeah, this is this is a really not too bad uh, with C section. I mean, nothing's really too bad with C section. Oh my goodness. Okay. Do not bung this up here. We need Cricket's body. Okay. We almost bunged it up. Look, C-section. I just needed you. I, all I need you to do is just leave one spider alive. All right. I think the blood, the bloodthirstiness needs to be turned down a little bit here. Uh. I mean, I guess rotten apple or rotten tomato. I mean, chemical peel wouldn't have been too bad either with 2020, I guess, but. The rotten tomato is going to give uh, going to raise pooters, but I still think there might be if we can just get the regular spider, man. Rotten Tomato is going to paint the target, so you, like you just saw right there, and essentially cause all enemies in the room to aggravate towards that uh, that target, and they will ignore Isaac totally, which is really good for bosses that spawn adds. Let's see what Judgment gives us here. Hopefully, he gives us an item pedestal down here, which would be a wild card, I believe. Wild card is in a wild a wild pedestal. I mean, honestly, like, give me the regular HP upgrade or the D12. Yeah, it, it's it's not that I'm, I mean, I'm off. I'm not going to make an excuse for that. However, however, our uh, movement speed is is killing me. It's, it's killing my accuracy. Get rid of, get rid of infamies forever. All right, so we couldn't take a devil deal because we did not have enough HP. Plus, that wasn't really a great devil deal. Even oh, even after, uh, you yeah, know, I'm just doing here. It shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Um, even after getting uh, Glitch Crown, it wasn't really a great devil deal to begin with. So, Unfortunately, we're not going to see the Petrified Poop again. I'm hoping that we get maybe a Soul Heart or two if we're lucky, but yeah. Yeah, this one's kind of washed. Isn't that what they say these, these days? The kids, they, they say it's washed. Yeah, no, they don't. No one says that except Northern Lion. Okay. I don't want to replicate that, anything that guy does. He's, that, that, man, that man lives in a constant state of references and memes. At one point, I used to understand everything that Ryan could say. Now it's just like he's like, oh, uh, what, what, "What game? What game?" Did I, I was watching him play Lies of, of P the other day, and he was talking about he's talking about staring at Walmart cashiers or something. I'm like, "Man, I, this this man is he's living on a different level than I am." Me a greed fight. This would have been an excellent time for us to have. Our uh, our eraser, but unfortunately we came back here for basically nothing, because uh, the only thing that I was really caring about. Look how long this hallway is, by the way. 
Uh, the only thing I was really caring about was just getting to the shop and buying a soul heart, but that ain't happening. Seeger might be here. Now we get the spiders. But honestly, I'm fine with erasing uh, infamies because, like, obviously, you know they are they are going to be a, they're going to be problematic for any build or any run, but especially problematic whenever our movement speed is still pretty the pretty dog doo doo. It, it ain't good, it ain't good, y'all. The 2020 and uh, C section is nice. Again, you saw how much damage they do, just basically with one. Okay, I feel like I bombed that wall already. Let me bloat. Y'all know the saying, F float. Ooh, okay. okay. We need Squeezy here, even though... Uh, even though the Divorce Papers... Well, I guess the Divorce Papers are significantly a better tiers rate, and we do get the Holy Mantle, so... Hey, we didn't mess it up. All right. Fantastic. Someone did mention, uh, shout out to, hang on a second, please hold. Shout out to, uh, Rost, Rostfleck2059, who said, the fact that it does not follow you into the mother fight, uh, makes it way less desirable, but it's still a solid, solid B and A tier item for sure. And yeah, I mean, that's, there are some fights where it's like, why don't you just come down here and, and, uh, you know, <laughs> come help us. And Star Bethlehem's like, nah, I'll, I'll take this one off. I'm happy that we erased the needles and pins. Wouldn't mind erasing diglets, but at this at this point, I'm not. I'm only using it for spiders. <coughs> We've got to use it for spiders. These are not spiders. These are they, they used to be called. They're not called. Um, they're not called trites. They're called like psi psi something. Our battery does not matter for us. Honestly, give me Dreamcatcher. Need to hurry. Give me Dreamcatcher just so we can get a uh, we can get a half soul heart. We still haven't seen the item room yet, and we don't have time to. We have a chance to make boss rush, and it's pretty important that we do. Mainly because of glitch crown. <coughs> Please hit that. And we didn't get a soul heart. Okay, we'll come back for the item room. We just we gotta book it. <coughs> we gotta book it. No, we don't have time for this. We have about 20 seconds to beat Mom. I expect any devil deal here, so. I mean, Red Mom, which is actually great for us. Ten seconds. Luckily, it wasn't. Uh... Oh! Luckily, it wasn't a. Uh... I don't. I don't know what I was gonna say there. I'm so mad. I missed the pact. All right. So we got a little bit of HP. Well, I mean. Yeah, I didn't mess up soy milk. Oh, baby. So we had almond milk, what, yesterday? I think it was. Um, yeah. Well, so we'll see which one is better. I personally, and this is just me, I personally still believe that soy milk is just going to be better with anything rather than, than almond milk. I was really tempted to race the, uh, race the host there. Now, Libra would have been definitely my second choice, but I think I still believe that, uh, that soy milk is just best. We could get Brittle Bones here. So brittle Bones is going to give us a whole bunch of disposable uh, bone hearts that we can use for <laughs> essentially just, just bolstering our, uh, our tears rate. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. No! Come on. 
All right. Well, again, we've we have we've held on to the the eraser for the entire level, just looking for a regular spider. And those are the demons. So we get gurglings. I mean, oh, we got we picked up. I guess we picked up ringworm. Yeah, so if we get rid of most of these bone hearts, it's going to significantly significantly give us more tears with soy milk i mean it, it is it's crazy how fast it scales here so uh, we might as well put some money into our donation machine while we're here very happy that we're almost back to six bucks it's in a weird way wow that was a lot in a weird way um it's so satisfying to see it go from that to that wow there's a these collar in here y'all Okay, I'm going to use the sun card so we can get more money to get Guppy's collar. You just can't make this up. Oh, we get our speed upgrade. We were able to get our number one target at the end of the day. And getting a Devil Deal, uh, Devil Deal Altar here would be pretty, pretty amazing with uh, Glitch Crown. Of course, predicated on us actually winning this. Okay, I'm actually gonna start following it with my eyes now. All right. Does not work here, so. Uh, yeah. That was. Would have been, would have been real nice to have gotten just a penny just to try. I mean, I guess we still can. Your secret room is right here. Okay. We're back, baby. We're not done yet. Thank goodness we got a um, we got a movement speed from Blood Bag. I mean, if we were going to get screwed on a Temperance machine, it's best to get screwed with uh, you know with the thing that you would want out of there because we obviously don't need IV bag anymore. This this demon this demon three skull Monty is going to be the death of me. Okay, we got it. We definitely want Charm of the Vampire here. Okay. I think that's it. We are, we are done Dizzle here. So at the end of the day, we end up getting a couple of extra good things, but the biggest pickup by far is going to be soy milk, obviously, because now it's completely canceled out the tears down that we get. It's not a tears down, but the fire rate down that we get from just simply taking C-section. I had a coughing fit there. Okay, so we don't have to worry about spiders anymore. Uh, the angel fetuses are pretty annoying, but manageable. Same thing goes with the doppelgangers. Yeah. This is also annoying. Hosts aren't terrible. They just they just slow us down at this point. There we go. So if you notice, by the way, if you try to throw the eraser on a on a host that has its hat closed, you will not be able to get get the hit there. Um, these items all suck, eh? Take that. I'll take the Empress card over the Strength card just to help us out with DPS. Not that we need a lot of help, but. So we don't have to worry about hosts anymore, but I just thought I'd, I'd keep point that in mind. Keep keep that in mind that if you try to use it uh, on a closed hat host, it will not register. By it, I mean the eraser.
Oh yeah, something else I was going to I forgot to mention yesterday when we were we were talking about music, or maybe it was the day before. Um, again, after I record, I all the episodes just get thrown right into the right into the that was so long ago. In okay, well, there's the rest of the map, everybody. Um, yeah, so the people have been asking when is the next vocal cover uh, because I posted one from Trapping Young Lad uh, about a month and a half ago now. And I said I was going to do Rage Against the Machine. Um, I decided I'm not going to do that. Not that I can't do it, but I'm a little bit skittish when it comes to certain bands on YouTube. And because it's going on the main channel right now, which is not a good idea, by the way, but I'm doing it just because I want, you know, I want people to listen to it. Um, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to slow my roll on using the, on doing Rage Against the Machine until at a later time. Um, however, I do have the next song planned, and it's definitely one that's still going to get claimed, obviously, but I don't think it's going to be a, that much of a of an eyebrow raiser from the YouTube algorithm. Um, so, yeah. Maybe at a later time, if the if the videos start doing really well, um, I will do... I'll double back and do Rage Against the Machine. Because um, I really, really want to do Bulls on Parade. Um, but... <laughs> like I said, I'm a little bit skittish when it comes to that. Like, I would love to do... I'd love to do my favorite song ever, which is uh, Spit Out the Bone. Um, however, putting Metallica on the main channel, not smart. Not smart. YouTube does not like that. Even if it's a cover song, <coughs> they do not like that at all. Which is really unfortunate because obviously, like, it kind of stunts, like, the creativity of some people. And, you know, I have fun doing the vocal covers, too. But, yeah, I just wanted to remind you that. We ha we've actually stuck the entire episode out here with the eraser, which is not something you see all the time. And uh, those were spiders, obviously. Yeah, so as soon as we destroy the, the meat globules there, um, the hosts will go away. They've been blunk out of existence. But the only the only thing that sucks right now is that, you know, with my with my cough and everything, um, it makes singing pretty difficult. Because uh, I started working on the Rage Against the Machine cover, and uh, it was just like, it was, I had to take constant breaks, and I'm like, man, like... I don't know, don't know how I'm going to be able to do this in one go. Because um, the Devin Townsend, the, the Strapping Young Lad uh, cover that I did was basically all done in one take. Because um, I was never planning on that, on that cover to be a thing. And like no one, no one except Mark would ever hear that. Is basically what I was going for. Can I time this? Hey, look at that. Got him. Tigger room might be here. This is going to be our last devil deal of the run, it seems like. Um, yeah, this is just a just an absolute molly whopping here. <coughs> I'm going to I'm actually going to go for a strategic hush kill here, and I'll tell you why. Essentially, I think that because Glitch Crown exists...
Here we are in Shoal. Uh, yeah, so... I was just reminded of the fact that, you know, we... We weren't originally ever going to do anything with that with that track. And then uh, and then I wanted to just let everybody know because people were asking about the next vocal cover. Apparently, there are a lot of people who do like it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, by the way, just check out the channel trailer. Uh, for those of you who are, who are and aren't subscribed uh, on the main channel here, uh, it should be the featured video. <coughs> or just type, um, uh, like, Strapping Young Lad cover or something like that, and you'll, you'll find it. I do enjoy them, but, like, you know, obviously the cough is, is so disruptive. And, and I, I I apologize for, <coughs> for continually talking about it. It's like, oh, God, like, just get help already. It's like, I, trust me, bro. I wish, I wish it was that simple, but... I gotta find a new uh, a new ENT. Unfortunately, I'm working on it. I promise. I know that we've been doing it for the last like two months now. And uh, I knew when it came back. I knew when after I got sick that one week. I knew that this was going to be an, another long term thing. I was like, oh, here we go. I go Stanley, and I think that we can erase a bomb fly here. Oh, what a shot! What a run, man. What a run. I, I will say that I think that this definitively kind of proves how good soy milk is with pretty much any tier effect possible. Um, I don't think that anyone will really argue it's just better than almond milk in every way, shape, and form. Uh, maybe the mulligan. Or not. I deliberately took fruitcake there, by the way. I don't care about these other, these other items that are meaningless. I just wanted to get fruitcake because obviously we have so many tiers and so many ways of applying it. that I think that it's, I, I think that it's just a, an absolute ne necessity here. Uh, I guess sack of sacks. Problem is, of course, the loss, I have no idea where we're going. So, yeah. We know that we don't have to worry about spiders from these guys, from the Black Lobans. They're my favorite uh, 70s band, by the way. Oh, baby. Now we're talking. Ah! <laughs> Forgot we had... We just picked up Deadeye, and I was like, oh, man, this is going to be great. We can get... We get to erase the Dark Ones? Nope. Oh, C-section just does way too much damage now for me to be accurate with it. I do appreciate how, like, the higher that... <coughs> the higher that um, our Deadeye damage multiplier gets, the just the rounder that the babies get. I don't even know what hit me there. E-bizzle. Empty hizzle. Oh, that's what it was. It was probably Fire Mine or something like that. Yeah. There's the Lost. Still is uh, going to cause us problems here. I mean, I guess a Lover's Card. We should be on the right path, though, towards Slam. Oh, my God. Yo. Hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on a bloody minute. section does the, I mean this does contribute a large portion of visual doo-doo um, oh man I was just going to say Lacrimogy like when Lacrimogy procced with uh, fruitcake I was like man that is going to be insane and now here we are so the, just, the reverse justice card is going to give us a a chance for four chests it's, a, it's minimum two we we'll use that in the secret room, and of course we get the minimum because you know, as you do. Uh, honestly, I think Loki's horns will be best at this point because I'm not doing, I'm not going to extra innings here. Then I guess, Mega Mush. 
I still have no idea where we're supposed to be going here. Not this way, apparently. Yeah, so... <laughs> as you see, with, uh, with Lagrigy... Yeah. I hope this doesn't crash the game. Good chance it probably will. Oh, man. Bloody Gust, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of damage here. Oh my gosh, Lamb just... Lamb, we hit Lamb so hard, he actually moved Mega Isaac all the way to the top of the screen, so... Wow, what a run. So thank you for watching, everyone. Your question of the episode today is going to be, now that you've seen the combo pretty much back-to-back, -back, what is your favorite? Is it going to be almond milk plus C-section or soy milk plus C-section? Leave your comments down below. The top three most upvoted. Get right on next week's episode. Have a great weekend, everyone. And, uh, yeah, thank you again for all the support and understanding, uh, especially with the sponsorship stuff and the coughing and all that stuff. I really, truly appreciate it, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And as always... I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. Like, thanks to patrons of mine, like three fourths. Happy B Day, Nash, and Dare Shooty zero one. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreoncom Invicta. 